Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's For This World, okay? Where we talk about in and everybody whenever we want to. And honey, baby, we still on the hot mess express. Whether we traveling by choo-choo train or whether we up high in the skies floating at 53,000, 58,000 feet, okay? The drama is still going to be the drama. And the drama of the day is... Kenya Moore, Mark Daly, such a dilemma, and it is a dilemma. I heard it through the grapevine, the YouTube grapevine at that, that Mark is trying to stop the proceedings of the divorce from Kenya Moore. Now, all of this is speculation, all of this is allegation, all right? And I'm making my opinionated opinion regarding the situation. And I'm like, Kenya, don't let this ninja come back in your life, upset it, throw you in a tailspin, and you in Brooklyn pay the price. You are doing darn good with launching, relaunching, expanding your uh, hair care products globally. And with that, that means more dollar signs in your bank account, which is right on time. Okay, right on time. All right. Now, I understand back in the day, because you spoke it out of your mouth, that Mark was helping you with some of your uh, marketing plans on how, or budgeting plans, I should say, to get your uh, product launched in very good retail stores and he helped you out with that and definitely you saw some upward trending in your revenue streams and pushing the product out to the masses so i give him that if you want to cut him a little check here and there do so he earned that i guess but to come back and be a cemented solidified statement in your life it's kind of troublesome it's like we're flying into the abyss uncharted waters because on the cannon show that you were on just recently you stated you were ready to mix and mingle you ready to meet someone you ready to have a companion and that's good companion is good especially with your baby girl being so so young still and mark is just looking at dollar signs and we saw how he treated you on the real housewives of atlanta when you brought him on and girl everybody was like whether you hate kenya whether you love kenya whether you indifferent with kenya didn't nobody really want to see you with that man he had nothing good to say about you and he loved showing you up in front of your so-called castmates constituents your arch enemies and at that time it was nene leaks okay and kenya did some shady stuff but that's what we hired kenya to do be shady keep up the drama and twirl all of her enemies out okay we expected that we got it good she earned her money that season and she understood the assignment well so we have no judgment there She's playing the part that she was paid to do. So, be it villain, be it hero, uh, be it whatever. She played her part well. And that's why she's definitely a big statement on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and somewhat an OG. Now, we already know that Bravo is trying to get rid of all the OGs and get some new faces, some younger faces in where they don't have to pay them the salary that the OGs expect and warrant you know for their talents that they bring to the show okay and really it's no talents to bring it's if you want to be uh in a fishbowl type of living and you want to bring a little drama or a lot of drama however you see it that will make your pay grade go up when it's time to negotiate a new contract but okay you got to have something to you got to bring something to the table you got to make those ratings stay focused on you and all the drama you're providing and become a household name now kenya has done all of that and done it very well okay she had to shave some folks and she made friends with folks she fell out with some folks it just is what it is <coughs> you come for her you better come with all the, all all that you can uh, muster up because 
she damn sure gonna make sure she always stay lot loaded and she gonna be ready to spray at any given time and just because you bring a little gun she may bring two or four uzis on your behind or hell a cannon that they used to shoot way back in world war one or two she might bring that just for the uh optic and drama effect that she's trying to reel in okay she brings the views Porsche brings the views um candy brings the views if we got her family members involved and that was pretty much of the OGs. Then nobody else really bring in anything. Okay. Cynthia was just, you know, she's like, she doing her thing over there on Big Brother. Everybody still, you know, saying she don't know how to play the game. And, that you know, I think she's just being toyed with until they get ready to get rid of her. Because they could have got rid of Cynthia a long time ago. She's just like a bump on a log over there. She's not really doing, she's not moving and shaking over there. And, you know, it just is what it is. I expect her to be out in maybe two more scenes. But that's another here nor there we're talking about miss kenya mar over here now like i said it was all allegedly but they're saying that mark is really thinking about not signing the papers uh to divorce kenya seems like he want to give it another try now i haven't now like i said it's going through the youtube streets between youtube bloggers okay um and the where i picked it up is is hustling housewives and I think I've shouted his uh, channel out many, many, many times. And he's the one with the invisible scroll or the little scroll. And he goes on with his sources and, and this, that, and the third. But you got to go over there and watch him. If you uh, do go, just tell him Dale Chanel sent you on over there, okay? But there has been talks, not just from him uh, letting his constituents know or other YouTubers know or, or other fans or followers. It's been other uh, unrelated sources that, you know, I really can't say because I really don't trust those sources. But, again, there has been talks out there that Mark is trying to get or win Kenya Moore back to his side. And I'm like, whew, I'm going to have to have two or four or maybe a case of wine to even accept that Kenya should be even thinking about or entertaining the idea of bringing him back. I know he is Brooklyn's dad. I know he treats her like royalty when he's around her. But my whole ordeal is, do you really want to bring him back on TV where he may or may not embarrass you? You've gotten so far in your career and you definitely have done it by the grace of God and your talents to get you where you are. And you've definitely been doing the mothering, mothering role very well very well indeed and you're more trusting of other people when it comes to them taking care of brooklyn while you got to go handle business but we never see you out here uh chasing after a man throwing your money on a man uh, being stupid for a man those are not your traits that's not your characteristics or your demeanor and i applaud you for that um and even in the past you always um uh, you know let them a man chase you and um if they are worthy you will stop to see what he wants you see what i'm saying you see where i'm going with it okay now we all know kenya has her flaws too so i'm not gonna make like she's um mother T uh, Teresa or anything like that because we know she died okay but just how she gives us the optics that she wants us to see and what she wants others to see her do because she does hold herself in high regard as being a queen you know what I'm saying now like I said you like a lover if you like her antics or not she doesn't embarrass herself she doesn't embarrass her family members and she doesn't embarrass Brooklyn okay so now we're not gonna go back far where she was trying to get her mama involved and trying to put her mama you know on the uh firing block to make her a storyline now you know Kenya was wrong when she did that because if you want to find out about past relationships or you want to try to see and understand certain relationships you did or did not have with your mother that definitely should have been kept off of tv so I did not agree with you when you were trying to expose your mother and this, that, and the third. Because you had a wonderful childhood. You didn't have the mothering role that you should have had. But your grandmother solidified that role. She gave you enough love that even uh, her love could transcend, transcend 
as well as overpower your real mother's love because she was there for you she educated you she taught you the ways of the world she taught you how to be a mother one day and she taught you how to love yourself okay and treat others well as well and you we know you had a very good um relationship with your dad we don't hear too much from you on you know since you've been back but maybe that's not something you want to put on tv now i understand that some things are left off of tv that should be left off of tv you can't give everybody you you know you can only give them certain parts and certain parts you want to see but we know you're not going to go out here and do crazy things that the media will pick up and it's not necessarily the bloggers we're talking about paparazzi we're talking about of other heavy hitters that want to put you or dim your light in certain aspects okay but we just want to know can your girl check in with us over at the house okay check in with us tell us what's going on because right now it's looking like a hot mess it's sounding like a hot mess and we don't want it to be a hot mess for you you've been doing very well without him unless it's another story you want to tell have you been seeing mark on the low low girl and you just been keeping it out of the public's eye now that be a, another significant story to tell because you're going to be making us all look like fools on youtube because we were taking up for you thinking mark wasn't in your life now if the hussy is back in your life and you enjoying it then let us know girl let us know so we can either rain on your parade or spread some sunshine there. But we definitely needed to, for him to have changed his attitude. Because he's still going around with this old funky attitude. Then we're going to be like, uh-uh. We don't need Brooklyn to grow up in no type of environment where he disses his mo her mom in front of her. Because that means she's going to expect a man to diss her the same way you were taking it from Maud. Just trying to be, you know, the, a submissive wife. Trying to you know hear what he's saying to you that you know it wasn't right his tone wasn't right his statue on you wasn't right because even your colleague cynthia and candy wanted to go in on mark on how he was saying things and doing things but you know they even had to hold their mule at times because they didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable or caught in a a, a, a bad situation where you had to try to choose between your friends and your uh castmates and your husband you know, or uh, what? Did, oh, I guess you were fiance at that time. Shit, I don't. No, I think y'all were married at that time when y'all went to that dinner, and uh, he made a complete spectacle or ass out himself, and it didn't make you seem uh, in a good, very good light either. So, Brooklyn deserves more, and you deserve more, Kenya. So keep that in mind as you're going forward, and Mark is trying to pull the brakes or pump the brakes of not divorcing you on legal terms and you know check and see if he has a real motive you know because you've been blowing up we know you make that six figure salary over at the real housewives of atlanta and we know you're got your business with your hair care you don't talk about it that much like you used to but we know it's out there and you say it seems to be doing well we can't find anything other you know to say something different so you've definitely been doing the motherly role very well with no complaints from social media at all you've been looking fabulous i think dancing with the stars did a lot for your attitude for uh, your weight control because you definitely are more than fine than you were you lost a lot of weight training with um uh, the dancers and uh competing on that level so you definitely have have done a lot in 20 21 as well as 2020 so keep up the good work we salute you but don't have some man come back now let's just say y'all been doing stuff behind closed doors and you didn't let us know because you know everything that's done in the dark we'll come to light and we might have to get on you can <laughs> we might have to get on you for not sharing that part of your life like we did when you call yourself hurrying up and getting married and then didn't want to make it a storyline and then they had to dismiss you you know and then you wanted to work your way back in now we don't want to have those little slip ups okay we don't want that for you you've been doing too well so that's all i have for this video guys uh that rumor and it is allegedly but how would y'all feel if mark really became another fixture a permanent fixture in king's life as being her husband hopefully the husband she thought she had when she first married him and not all the mess that he brought and all the drama he bought 
for the negative four Kenya when it was being taped. I mean, those girls right there love each other to the fullest. And I'm pretty sure Brooklyn, when she does see her dad, she loves him too and she knows him. However, is he going to be supportive of your TV career, Kenya? That is another aspect you're going to have to di dive deeply in and have very serious conversations with him because your life is on TV. Is he planning to share the spotlight with you? And we watch his comings and goings as well. Maybe not all the time, but in certain scenes that you are taping. And shout out to AT Alien, Michelle Brown. Okay, go over there and watch her videos and her show. She has a pretty good show over there. And keep it quite entertaining. Now, she is a Nene fan, fanatic, friend. So, uh, don't go talking trash over there because she got a strong block game. Just enjoy her content. If it's not for you, then you can always search for someone else or come back home. I'm always open. I leave the light on for y'all. Okay? 24-7. Alright? And y'all know I get back with y'all in those comments. Alright? But y'all let me know. Get in those comments and tell me. Do y'all want Mark back with Kenya? Do they, you think that'll be a wise choice for her? Or is it none of our business and we should just love on her or who she loves? Or, you know, just tell me. You know, you know, don't don't put me all up in it. You know, try to get me together. Because I'm still going to have my reservations. Because I, I want women to definitely do it for themselves before they try to do it for a man. You know what I'm saying? Or their husband. Know thyself before you can go and try to get somebody else together. All right? Know thyself and what thyself can take and cannot take and won't allow and will allow in their lives, okay? Because everybody's our guests in your life. When you get sick of them, you just tell them they are no longer warranted around you. Your peace is priceless. And right now, they're getting in the way of that peace, all right? Okay? And how Madea used to say, peace. <laughs> will be still when you pull out that silver gun on them or a black gun on them that is your peacemaker <laughs> let thou peace be okay peace be still meaning that gun is going to give you peace and the steel is in that steel rock hard bullets going out and trying to spray you to death I'm just saying alright hence peace be still okay but that's all I have, guys. Y'all love it, like it, gotta have more. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And as always, you know I like y'all to get down there. Put them comments down there so we can interact with one another. And be nice in the chat. Because everybody has an opinion. But, you know, sometimes some people go a little bit too far. And the block game is strong, trust me. I'm not going to really put up with a lot of mess no more. Because I don't put it up. I don't put up mess in my family. In my real, real family. Y'all my biological family. So I think I need to keep that rule of thumb here on my channel. But if you don't want to be here. If you don't want to talk about subject matter. You just want to be somebody over here that's creating uh, chaos. You got to go. You are no longer welcome. I'm just saying. I'm just keeping it real. Okay. Because I like my peace. I like my family. My YouTube family to have peace. And I want to be an open forum. Okay. I don't want no crazy folk coming over here talking some shit. Don't think I won't get back with them. Because ain't, this ain't a channel for you. Okay. This ain't a channel for you. Sometimes I got time. Sometimes I don't have time. <coughs> but I'm going to make some time to be blocking some people. If they don't watch their tone. And how they present themselves in the family. Okay. It's a family chat. Alright. We want peace. And understanding. We can deal with uh, being different. Or indifferent with a certain people's perspective on certain things. But everybody's very opinionated. But we ain't got to be nasty about it. And we ain't got to go jump on somebody about it. Okay. So get with it. Be there or be square. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.